Auckland 64 here and amazingly another race course this is the Market Ways and first time being in a few years to Market Ways in Lincolnshire it's uh, the Prelude Chase oh, God, I shouldn't really know how it's Prelude Chase today which means it's going to go to for a few years and I just couldn't make it about a few years ago I had other plans for all the sadly changed my mind and then of course last year I couldn't make it because the Covid was on well it was on <laughs> it's not like not like with a party I suppose uh, but I couldn't make it then there's about a fourth time I think I've been to a waste course. Nice enough waste course. I said in one uh, previous video that we don't met anyone well known in, it's a, in racing, sort of uh, racing, uh, two times. And one was Sean McGee, a lovely guy I met uh, after search, uh, winning a, a, a quiz <laughs> question about uh, Mullins' first ever tournament festival winner, which race, and it would be Supreme Novices. Uh, and there's another guy. The other one's Mike Vince, and I must have to avoid some Mike Vince up uh, who I met in a pub after racing. He was doing the MC work there, and must say, as I said before, he was having an orange juice and a, and, and, uh, and a super, not a drink there. But he was in a very nice, nice chat with him actually, and two Scottish guys who were there, who had, none of us knew each other particularly, but it was a nice chat with him. But it's nice, of course. I got to Sedgeford tomorrow. I did say in a video I was going to take the bus off up for once and you have to Sedgeford and back again in the next 12. When you realise I looked into it, there is no bus on Sunday from Newcastle to Durham. We're not the next 12 and I have to get probably two buses and it's a hat. I just got some more money. I just get the normal thing from Newcastle to Durham uh, train and going to uh, Sedgeford bus. And I also bus is very slow from Newcastle to, to Durham. And now I just fancy doing it as a, so it's something different, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, been to a meeting, well, it's said to a dumb national tomorrow it's said to a meeting, meeting before and I have said before I don't like me doing meetings twice but local meetings it's not so bad so I do that again the market ways and I've got a pub on great to market ways and a fight for a double checked whether there's going to be a train early enough for, uh, uh, to market ways to Newark, uh, Newark Northgate I fight for a race there's a very nice pub of just uh, just brew micro pub in Newark I really like to drink in there's other good pubs in Newark but it just isn't near market ways and and I actually once at Market Ways, and I said in another video a while ago, that I was going actually, if it had been a split race, a sixth race coming a seventh race, the race is split into two divisions, I'd have left before the final race. Because I didn't want to spend two and a half hours in Market, in market Ways. And it's a nice place, but just no, no, really, the pubs aren't great compared to Sydney, not compared to Newark. But that was that. Uh, I said in air, I did that with the race, a race, cause early, a race meeting early, one day race early to do that there, because you fancy. I think just a couple of hours, a couple of pints of Kermonic. And later on I talk about, and I mentioned some mentions a while ago, about an issue of hidden market ways and a very strange issue about kidney prayering and how eyewitnesses accounts can be unreliable. And I explained about that from six years well, six years ago, later on. New York Northgate station. So I explained about what happened at Market Ways and six years ago. That was a very odd it was very very odd. During the meeting I was at the Parade ring. I was a little kid, about three year old, and I just so slightly wanted to be parade ring. And the just parents had not been paying any attention at all to him. And I probably should have actually tried to get a kid back in. There was just horses, I think, were in parade ring at the time, but a long way off. But they were still, you just don't <laughs> have a little kid. There's reasons why you never, I think, ever see a race, uh, race course. Uh, there's a there's sort of notification parade ring, and I've never seen anything like a 12 year old or older with a, with an adult and I think he'd be 18 probably maybe 16 year old as an adult I might say you know no one younger than 12 ever I think it would be, it would be allowed in a parade ring and certain other race courses uh, will have different rules it just depends on the race course but never anything below, and I don't think anyone ever seen anything below 12 allowed in and some of it is just 6 to 18 year olds maybe 16 year olds or older and that's it you know no, no one younger than that but anyway they luckily came back out going quite quickly I think almost it'll try to get them back, back into, out, out of the parade ring. I've already did the same thing again, started wandering on the shoot to a parade ring, and at this point I'm thinking, I've got to do something about this, it's dangerous for a kid. Horses can be very fractious, and I've seen horses bolting in a parade ring, and you might see them on TV, seeing the happen, well, well, case recently, exactly the same thing happening. That uh, horse bolted, I uh, can't where it was, and it was very dangerous in, to everyone, really. And, happens, and I just didn't grab the kids, I just grabbed, went and just slightly pulled his sleeve and brought him back and pulled him back and a bloke, the oldest, I was the oldest bloke, 50s maybe near me, said, oh well done for that, and, you know, saying, oh he hadn't done it, and he's saying, well well done for doing it, basically, put him, put the guy, put the kid back a bit, and then a few seconds, a minute later, then there's someone, clearly the adults, there are two other kids, young kids, I said, one of the young kids, about six, seven years old, to get the kid back, and I'm thinking at that point, why aren't you doing it, you know, like with two parents, you were parents, 
why don't you do this? Your kid, it's just like your kid wander, wander, wander around here and it's actually dangerous for a kid and I'm thinking, do you not give a I'm sorry, language, but do you not give a shit about your kid? I was just in trouble, never mind you let the go and you shouldn't have done, you couldn't be really bothered to get the kid back yourself. That's bloody poor, frankly. But anyway, so I stopped luckily. I mean, whether gone into a parade with the West could have gone back in again to actually remain parade ring, it's actually a long way. He's going along with shoot towards the parade ring. I, I, someone had to do it, and maybe me, because someone had to get the kid back out. But while we're talking about eyewitness phrases, uh, situations, or how eyewitness accounts are unreliable and how we realised that, because of course I thought the kid was in a uh, pink top, as is two siblings, older siblings, older, I think they're all three boys, older, well, all in, in pink, and I thought, well, oh, enough, you know, that's what they're wearing. And later, I might now or later, in the meeting, I came across them again. I realised they're all in blue. I got a kid's top completely wrong. Now, this is a kid, and now I'll go, I've rescued them prayed with him, going to pray with him. You'd think I'd remember what colour top they were wearing. I didn't. This is a point of my eyewitness accounts, because it wasn't relevant to me, really, what top they were wearing. I think, oh, it's pink. The most important thing was getting the kid back. So we get to pray doing this sort of thing where, no counts, say there's a car accident or something, what someone's wearing is not, you're not really wondering about what someone's wearing. It's actually, the important thing is what's happening in the car accident, or whatever incident it is. The incident often is more important than what someone's wearing. And that was the issue there. And I realised only about an hour later. I actually emailed Market Ways and after the meeting uh, to, 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 to say about this, because I said, you know, just, you know, it's a whisper for them. Their uh, future, if there's an issue there, they could be a fault. But not, not having, you know, it's a parent should of course, have responsibility. But still, they could have legal issues for market raising. And they emailed me back in January thanking me. It wasn't just, oh, thanks for your email. It was, yes, we'll look into this. Thank you for letting us know. It was clearly they were concerned. And I'll have a look. I keep for, I'll say, have a look maybe at a meeting, whether it's as easy to get in the parade ring. It was a little too easy, I think, to get in. I'm just a kid. I can't, I'll be ducking through a parade I don't know. I'll have a look. But it was... It's the only time I've seen anyone like a situation with the waste course, seeing as I keep going on about a pinch of in 30 odd waste meetings and every waste course in Britain, I say including Toaster, but not to Folkestone, plus for an island, island. I've never seen anything like that. And it was just parents are really not paying attention to the kid. And I, what are you doing? You're weird as a danger. I mean, you're not even at the, when I said, why am I rescuing your kid from Birdwin, frankly? That's just, you know. Jesus Christ, who the hell do you think you are? Market ways now. I'm now caught to the first race. I don't have time for that for a pint. But I've got enough time. I, uh, I treat my trains changing at uh, Newark. Castle Newark and Northgate for about two, probably three pints in Newark. I don't want the evening, so I'm not going to have one now. And I, I did previously want, so one time I was in Market Ways, possibly last time. Nice meal, actually. I think it was nice. <laughs> well, I had a meal. I think it was nice enough. I just a uh, basic restaurant here. And now, of course, it's a bit tight of time that I'm not going to bother for today with that. Uh, I need to get to there, great to be served, get the food, get the order, get served, get the food, and get to the race course. And of course, it's a little tight on the light. Things are busy. Sido actually just having a sandwich and a, and a drink, or maybe crisps or something from, from the shop. This evening. I might actually just go to Market Ways and have a race course and see if there's food there. There's probably going to be something, I don't have enough time. So that's go do that now. I knew when I would cock up another transport disaster for me very nearly. I knew my train left at 11 o'clock from Newton Northgate and I uh, was looking to see at the station and we got off at Newton Northgate from Newcastle. Right, uh, where is the train not there? And listed as an 11, 10.59 but not, not an 11 o'clock train. And that's the real app. And so suddenly decides it's not going to open up at all, keeps crashing. And I then eventually said, well, let me confirmation email, luckily I've held on to from NER. And I realised, ah, but I'm so certain it was Newark Northgate, it wasn't, it was Newark Castle. I had to get to Northgate, Newark Castle, thinking, well, I better go on with this. <laughs> I knew I had enough time walking quickly, but yeah, it's still only, even though I fly pretty quickly, I'd only have five minutes spare, but I didn't have to get there safely enough. But it was a bit, I was, I looked, I remember I really noticed there was a train pulling in, and I was checking it wasn't my train, and suddenly I realised. And in fact, uh, and there's only with a check to what, what train times were. Get to the station, and I'm waiting for a train. It looks a bit busy on the platform. Maybe I'm going to go to a football game or something. I'm not sure where well, it might have been. And then I start thinking, hang on, this is the right platform. And so I should have known it wasn't. I mean, it's quite easy to get two platforms in Newark Castle. 
but I should have known. Uh, that platform I normally get is trains to Wollaston, uh, through to uh, Nottingham, through to Leicester, and it's we keep with one direction. But it would not help, unhelpfully, the actual platform train information that would be sort of be noticeable. It'd be left on notice board. It's broken, so you can't actually tell what trains are coming in there, which is really useless, frankly. Luckily, there was a train, uh, as member staff friends say, oh, it's just the right platform, no, go to the other side. But we're, uh, suddenly, <laughs> there's another mess there as well. Oh, we've had a few, yes. Uh, we, uh, just to be a mug pub, a lovely drink uh, pub in Newark, yes, I'm pretty hot. I said in the earlier video I'd have two or three, I right? have four, three very nice, three pints and a pint of real cider, very nice mango real cider. Now, if I can hold myself together, uh, I'll, I'll put on Twitter here, come to major about someone actually uh, being a parade ring with a young kid, and I thought, you know, 12. I thought, sure, I said in the earlier video, well, I said in the earlier this video, surely you can't be in a parade before you're 12, and I thought, I think you look young for 12, and I have to admit, I was only sort of five, between sort of five, six, and five, seven. I was quite, quite, quite young, I think, as a kid. So possibly a 12, but I doubt you even 10. Or well, something odd's going on. It was a, and the point is, it was a son, it was a, well, the son of a trainer. Now, I looked the trainer up in the end, and actually looked up and decided, how old's your kid? And I think he's eight. And I looked it up, and I think, so why are you allowed in? I set the sign, so there's one was a bit sort of weather beaten, saying that people in market ways and going to bedroom shouldn't be, you should be at least 12. But another sign clearly says 12, and I don't know what's going on. And I think, has trainers, have trainers got special rules here? And I doubt they do. What's going on? And that's later on, it'll be towards the final way, so there's another so young girl. And frankly, I thought, I'm not sure you're 12, but I think you'll look older than the other person is. When I saw about a four or five year old running after E from B of that prayer ring, E and I thought, oh god, it's not good. But we I assume his dad looked around and basically it done effect it almost pushed him back and it was clear and he went out and clearly dad had said. I can only assume but he can't come in here, he's too young. So it's good of him really. I mean I think I think his daughter might have been twice older, but we're not a trainer. I think maybe been twelve, possibly, and they're saying to a kid who's ran off, I think, away from his mum and saying you can't come in here, and I think she went, went back to his mum. So that's fine, yeah. I'm saying, as I said, I once had a, I was saying to them, uh, people in a pub actually, I once at a pub, I had a half an hour before we train, that's a 20 minute walk, and I actually bought a pint of your cider. Might take that in 10 minutes, drink it in 10 minutes, might take up a train. I've done, well, slightly longer, but it was near 40 minutes here. But I had to drink it, and oh god, it was a. I had to walk flat out, but I think I was a cottage anyway. But my train's been cancelled actually, uh, the 8.46, so. The uh, next train is 10 minutes later, which I can power, just check my test manager just to make sure that I can get my train. You know, I just thought I'd check with him first. Um, obviously, I could, but I thought I'd check with him. I just found that I was 10 minutes later. I had a 20 minute w wait anyway for a train. So I so said to her tomorrow, I didn't say actually, and I think earlier on, an interesting place further up from Racecourse. Basically, what we said for through to race course and further on for about 10 minutes, there's a nice sort of farm with this real ale, their own real ale, and has a tap room. But unfortunately, because of COVID, it looks like it's not on, it's not open, it's unfortunate. But I've got some pubs, so I don't have time beforehand. Sunday sort of uh, waste and buses are a bit uh, less regular, so it's not no chance. But I have a time to check. I think it's a real, I think it's a camera real loud pub there, and the pantomime after that, we've drank in once before. I've actually at least be it. 